What's up, fellow adventurers? Spires04 here, and today I'm here to review the Jurassic World uh, Bashers and Biters, Spinosaurus, or whatever that series is called, Bash and Biters, or Bashers and Biters, I don't know what it's called really, but it's something like that. It, I'm reviewing it's Spinosaurus, so let's get into it. Now, shout out to Brenda Vanessa, this is his favorite dinosaur. So, yeah. Detail in here is really nice. The, although sadly we have the seeable dino damage. Why can't? One thing I don't get is this was the same kind of thing with the JP line or JP3 line. Why can't we just get dino damage but something to cover it up? Like that. See, that is genius. Why can't they just give us something to cover it up instead of just leaving it out? But DJ one here is pretty good. Oh crap. I forgot to mention articulation for this guy. Arm moves. Legs move. I guess you can count the jaw. And it's this is the gimmick. Okay. Back to this guy. I guess we'll go with articulation now. That can also love the gimmick on here. Head can move up. Jaw. Ah. Arms can move. Legs can move, and if you put them in a pos in this kind of d stance, Michael Jack or uh, Michael Jackson Thriller should be playing right now. Cause this is Thriller. Oh my God, I can't. I am sorry, but anyway, he has like a toe thing going on, but I usually just keep it like this. But yeah, this is a great figure. Now, size comparison. Here he is compared to the Ankylosaur. I don't think this size is up well. He should be about the size, maybe a little bit bigger than the Indominus Rex, which I'll pull him back out. They do not size up. He's supposed to be like a... He's bigger than T-Rex, and I'm pretty sure he should be bigger than Dominus. Now, here he is compared to my favorite Spinosaurus figure. The Schleich figure. Two, two different types of Spinosaurus right here. Now, I just want to say this. The reason I got this figure was because I think it's a great figure. Now, will I get the Bastion Biters uh, T-Rex? No. Now, right here, I'm going to start saying my opinions on that T-Rex because I am not getting that figure. And this is my opinion on that Bastion Biters T-Rex. It sucks. That figure... Oh my god... T-Rex may be, like, the most popular dinosaur, but... That doesn't stop him from... That doesn't mean he always gets perfect T-Rex figures. Like, the Bash and Byers T-Rex is probably my least favorite Jurassic World figure that I've seen. I'm not getting that figure. The, the Chopping T-Rex is a lot better than the Bash and Byers T-Rex. Because the Chopping T-Rex has better sculpt. And... The Bastion Byers T-Rex has screw holes everywhere. Now, this has screw holes too, but I mean, not as bad as the Bastion Byers T-Rex. It, that thing, check out Wicked Winkster's review on him, and you'll see that basically his problems with the figures are my problems with the figure. I am not getting the Bastion Byers T-Rex, and I'm, I'm passing on that figure. This, on the other hand, I like a lot better. This is a better figure than the Bastion Byers T-Rex. So, I'm going to rate him 8 out of... 8 out of 10. Or, no, 7.5 out of 10. Yeah, that's a pretty good rating. This gets a 7.5 out of 10. It's a great figure. I highly recommend it. I recommend it if you're a Spinosaurus fan. He's about $8, so you should be able to get him pretty easily. You can find him at Walmart. And that's all for this time, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Rawr, rawr.